The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little leg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped. Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach cake. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon, around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... Pop! He was a beautiful butterfly. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped. Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, 
He ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach cake. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon, around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... Pop! He was a beautiful butterfly. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chipped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning. Whizzed a locust. Spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello. Whispered a praying mantis. Scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day. Crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi. Bubbled a spittlebug, slapping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon. Screeched a cicada. Clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee. Flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening. Would a dragonfly. Gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night. Buzzed the mosquitoes. Dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened. Not a sound. As the lunar moth disappeared, silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he choked the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. <laughs> said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, 
said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba ba! Bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma ma! Said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Granted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow. Cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack. Called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Cock a doodle doo. Crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pestly fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. Asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion. I hear a lion roaring in my ear. I hear a lion roaring in my ear Lion, no, oh, lion, no oh, What do you hear, oh, oh. I hear, oh, a hippopotamus Snorting in my ear Peacock 
card yelping in my ear. I hear a big card yelping in my ear. Peacock call, peacock call. What do you hear? Oh, I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, oh, walrus, oh, what do you hear? Oh, I hear a zookeeper. Whistling in my ear, I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? Oh, I hear children, I hear children. I hear children, I hear children Rolling like a polar bear, rolling like a polar bear, rolling like a polar bear, rolling like a polar bear Roaring like a lion, roaring like a lion, roaring like a lion, roaring like a lion Nodding like a hippopotamus Nodding like a hippopotamus Flooding like a flamingo Flooding like a flamingo Flooding like a flamingo Flooding like a flamingo Praying like a zebra Praying like a zebra Praying like a zebra, praying like a zebra Hissing like a boa constrictor Hissing like a boa constrictor Trumpeting like an elephant Trumpeting like an elephant Snarling like a leopard, snarling like a leopard, snarling like a leopard, snarling like a leopard. Yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock. Bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Oh, oh. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? Puzzle game. Oh no, that's a lion. Oh no, that's a zebra. Try again. Oh no, that's a leopard. Correct. This is a polar bear. Let's sing one more time. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion. I hear a lion roaring in my ear. I hear a lion. Lion, no, lion, no, what do 
Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? Oh, I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Like a leper, 
like a leopard, snarling like a leopard, snarling like a leopard. Yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock, yelping like a peacock. Bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Oh, oh. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird. A yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear. Looking at me, that's what I see. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Polar bear, 
polar bear. What do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra praying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a bull constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. Eric Carl from head to toe. I am a penguin, and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it! I am a giraffe, and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a buffalo, and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey, and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a seal, and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a gorilla, and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a cat, and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a crocodile, and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a camel. And I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a donkey. And I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. I am an elephant. And I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. I am I. And I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. From head to toe. Are you ready? Here we go. Move yourself from head to toe. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carle. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Black panther, black panther, 
What do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child. What do you see? I see a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. Eric Carl, the tiny seed. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies to high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on. But the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind. But the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now, it is winter. After their long trip the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now, it is spring. After a few months the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by. The sun shines. Rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full they start to burst open little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away for one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry. But finally, it starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children hot to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and, oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. 
It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle